Guys, my sister just called me. We're gonna be needing the gloves. Oh gosh, guys. I don't even wanna open it. I can already see them, oh my gosh. I think we're gonna open it here, holding our breath. Oh my, look at the worms. I had no idea it was gonna be this bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What have you guys done here? Go play, go, go. These dogs are just crazy. Look at the mess that they've done. They've dug a huge hole here, but guys, that is not the worst of it. That is not the bad news that I'm here to tell you guys because I just found out something really bad, and it's not with these dogs here. Maverick, can you get over here, Piper? Can you introduce yourselves? Look at these. Uh, are you guys tired? Listen to that breathing. Oh, Piper's giving us all the love. Maverick's over here saying hi. Oh, I'm a big Maverick. Guys, this is Maverick and Piper, my two golden retriever kids. If you guys have seen them before, well, that means you've been on this. Whoa. If you guys have seen them before, you guys have been on this channel. I'm Landon Share for those of you who are new, and these are my golden kids. Now, we do have one missing member. You probably remember her from the Jaguar video where they went and played. My sister's little golden retriever girl, Finn, is coming to see us. But the bad news is, is that Carly, my sister, just found out that her dog has Worms. Can you believe it, Piper? Her dog has worms. My sister is on her way down here to Miami right now, and she's actually going to be staying with us at the house with Finn, her puppy. So I'm really concerned. I really don't want our dogs to get these worms because they can spread so easily. Maverick, come here. My sister did say that she was almost here, so Maverick, Piper, and I are going to wait and see when she gets here. From there, We'll see what we have to do to get rid of this problem. My sister's just pulled up. She just got inside, said hi to her, but she left the puppy in the car for us to go get her. While we're out here, guys, I kind of want to show you something new. Look at that. We'll get back to that in a second. I just made a crazy purchase, but my sister's car is here. Oh my goodness, who do we have in door number one? Oh my goodness, she's ready to come out. Where are you going? Hey, hi, hi puppy. Hey, let's go to the back. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. You don't look very sick. She said, I feel fine. I feel fine, I just got some friends in my belly. Come on, let's go. So little Finn is here, look how big she's gotten. Look how big she is. She's almost as big as the other guys. Well, not quite, but she's getting there. I have missed Finn so much and I can't wait to do more videos with her. The last time you guys saw her, she was with that Jaguar kid and they had a good time. Now, I don't wanna to get too close to her mouth because I could potentially get these worms too. I don't know what type of worms she has. My sister said she saw worms in her poop. We kinda of need to find out what it is and then that will tell us how we need to treat it. So Finn, what you're gonna have to do for us is go number two. There are all sorts of number two leavings throughout my backyard, so what we're gonna have to do is my sister is gonna watch Finn for the next time she goes number two, finds that, sees if there's any worms in it, which there should be because she hasn't been treated yet. Once that happens, we can see what type of worms she has and exactly how to treat them. She might have to go to the vet, but while we wait, I'm gonna show you what we just saw out front. Let me get my sister, she's gonna watch Finn, and let's head out there. A lot of you guys might be worried about Piper and Maverick that they might catch these worms because Finn is down here in the same grass, the same area, and they are very contagious. They can spread very easily to other dogs, but luckily, Luckily, Maverick and Piper are on a worm preventative. They've been since they're puppies, so they should not get anything, but we still will be checking their poop as well to make sure that they are okay while Finn is down here. There's really no way to keep them fully separated with the space in our house, so we're gonna have to keep them where they're going into the same yard and going into the same areas. Once she gets better, then we can mix them together and everything will be fine, but I'm really not too worried about Maverick and Piper. They should be good. Let's head out front and see what I just got. Oof, would you look at that, 
Guys, I have bought my very first boat. I'm super excited to say that I have purchased my first boat with the help of you guys from running this channel and I hope to show you guys more ocean-based content with this beautiful vessel here. I am now officially a pirate. I've been wanting a boat for a really long time and finally saved up the money to get it. It's actually hooked up to my truck right now because it had to go to the shop, get some things worked on it. You know the deal with a boat, there's always something going on, but hopefully we'll be out on this soon. Comment down below if there's any ocean content you guys want to see. Sea turtles, dolphins, fish, you guys name it, we're going to be after it. This is my new baby, and we will be on that soon, weather permitting. Also, we have another update. The other night, I was out with my friend, and we were cruising around looking for snakes and such, and we found a really cool little guy, so let me go get him right now. And we have him here, guys. Look at this. I'm trying not to be too loud. I, it's okay. You're okay. Look at that. Just a medium-sized veiled chameleon. Just a beauty. He's a little dull right now. He's not showing his brightest colors. I think he actually might be in shed. You guys have seen me catch these before down here in South Florida if you have been on the channel. Oh, he's crawling onto my hand. Maybe he doesn't really notice it's my hand. Now you'll see I have this stick because having the stick makes him a little more comfortable. That's the best transition to getting him to like me. Chameleons typically are on their own. They don't really like being handled necessarily. If you have one as a pet and you get it as a baby, it can get very comfortable around you. You can see he's opening his mouth. He doesn't really like being around me right now. I literally just caught him last night or the night before, so I will either be keeping him myself or maybe giving him to one of my friends if they're interested, but hopefully he gets used to us soon. I really don't mean you any harm, buddy. I don't mean you any harm. Comment down below a little name for this guy. He's a male veiled chameleon, and he's just got some brilliant colors. I really don't mean any harm. I, I, I'm not trying to bother you. I know I am. I know I am because I'm trying to show you off to these guys, but we'll put you back in a second. You, Looked like he was about to stick his tongue out at me. If you guys haven't seen how a chameleon eats, it is just one of the craziest things in the world. Guys, my sister just called me. We're gonna be needing the gloves. She just said something really nasty happened that she's never seen before and we have to go into the backyard. The dog has not gone number two, but actually thrown up, which is a symptom of having these worms, definitely caused by the worms because she's never done that before. She has not gotten into anything. Her diet hasn't changed. My sister said she got the throw up out of the yard and she's, oh, it's in a container. She's put it in a, a container right here. Let's see what's inside of this. Oh gosh, guys. I don't even want to open it. I can already see them. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to open it here, holding our breath. Oh, this is gross. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my, look at the worms. Oh, it smells really bad, guys. I'm sorry if you can't look at this, but oh my gosh. I had no idea it was going to be this bad. Oh, they're moving. Guys, they're moving. I don't think I can look at this any longer. I believe that these are round worms. This is just gross. So I believe that what we have here are round worms. They're so big. Ugh. There's a couple different types of worms that your dogs can get and puppies are obviously really susceptible to getting these worms. But my mom just said that she is gonna take this over to the vet to get the proper diagnosis and she's gonna come back with the results of what medication we need to give to little Finn. That is just gross, guys. I'm sorry if there was something that was a little disturbing, but guys, that is a part of having animals. They get into this stuff and even humans can get these worms sometimes, which is really gross. Just throwing away those gloves so we don't have that nastiness on us anymore. But guys, hopefully Finn will be okay. Comment down below a little prayer for her so that she could be feeling better. She didn't look like she was feeling too bad, but that cannot be good. If they are round worms, like I think, they can be a really big problem for dogs. Looking up the 
information now on my phone. Roundworms can migrate into the lungs, causing coughing, respiratory symptoms, and even cause pneumonia, guys. Vomiting or diarrhea is also another cause, obviously, as we just saw. Gross. If roundworms left untreated, worms can stunt your dog's growth, which is not good again, cause digestive problems, and even be fatal. Guys, I don't think that we're gonna have that issue here. I do not believe that the dog is anywhere near being in a fatal situation, but we do have to act now, which is why she's going to the vet. Hopefully, everything will be okay. And would you look at that? The little monster is all back from the vet. Now, I don't want her, I don't wanna be kissing her, getting too close, cause I don't wanna get no worms, but she looks good. She got a worm shot, well, a deworming shot. She's also gonna be put on this medication over here. She's gonna be on this heart guard right here. She just hit 50 pounds, and it says for dogs 51 to 100 pounds, and there's a golden retriever on the box, so I think it is approved. So that chewable, she will be on once a month, and then in two weeks, I believe, she has to go back and get another deworming shot from the vet, so that is good news. The vet said she didn't look too bad and that she should be good soon. We got some food here because she needs her lunch, but guys, I wanted to show you how I spice up my dog's food. If you didn't know, I have my own dog and cat treat company. We also have other products. This is a daily probiotic, if it'll focus there. Yep, there we go. Really good stuff. Finn just loves it. And so we are going to be giving her some of this. This is just all natural chicken breast. Really good stuff. You like that? The company's called Live Positively. If you guys want to check it out, support me, support my family that runs this business, please check out the website down below. I'm going to be pouring some of this on here. So what we do is put some of this chicken breast on as protein assurance on top of the normal kibble. It crunches right up. We also use these as training treats, this whole piece right here. Huh? There we go, that's a good girl. That deserves a treat. There you go. Oh, I like that stuff. So like I said, just as a protein assurance, we top that off. We can also mix some water with it, which makes it that much more tasty. Are you ready, sit? Good girl. Have your lunch. I am so happy that Finn is in town with us and I'm even more happy that she is going to be feeling better soon because those worms, I'd never seen anything like that before. Guys, always look in your dog's leavings, whether it's throw up or it's their number twos, their little poops, because that can be a telltale sign of if they're having stomach issues, if they have worms or anything like that. Obviously your vet is gonna check them up as much as they can, but there's stuff you can do at home just like that to make sure that your pet is healthy. Thankfully, we caught these worms just in time. Finn is finishing up her lunch here. And guys, with that being said, we're gonna wrap up today's video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, like it. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. They're not as gross, I promise. Maybe the lion poop one. But anyhow, guys, oh wait, are you a lion? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like it, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.